Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. Kaka, I am the happiest person because Mafuta in a panda bay. I'm proud of that. Unajua, waswahili walisema, mtoto akililia wembe. Mpatie tu. Eh, mtoto akisema nipatie wembe, <clears throat> unampatia mpia. Akijikata, unafunga mlango, unamuacha kwa nyumba, anajiriria. Last year, wakenya walililia wembe. Wakasema, give us that reza. Tupatie, uru wali wambia, ii wembe, <laughs> itawanyoa. Wakasema leta tu, uhuru akawarudia. Wembe munaoliria, utawanyua bila maji. <laughs> Wakasema lete, mudosi, tainasti, leta wembe, unatuchelewesha. Uhuru akawambia, mimi na wapatia wembe, nienda nyumbani, nikiwa na amani, kwa sababu nisha maliza miaka yangu. Akachukua wembe kutoka kwa paket brand new akapatia wa Kenya. Sasa umewakata. Wa Kenya wameanza kusema right tungalijua. You know Ruto has been telling Kenyans the Kenya Kwanza government will be governed by the rule of law. He has said this several times in several platforms. Kila wakati anasema, sisi, we will not capture the judiciary. As William Ruto, my government will entirely be governed by the rule of law. Kila mtu atafuata sheria. Wewe na mimi, we remember very well. Akisema hivo. Ndugu zanguni wa Kenya watukufu. <coughs> Maali uliko, unasikiaje. <laughs> yani maari umekaa. Baridi, unasikia upepo. Upepo inakupiga na muna gani. <coughs> Hmm. Mafuta ni 196 A single liter Okishindwa kununua mafuta Uza gari Nunua mafuta lita kumi Weka <laughs> Mafuta ikikuwa expensive Chukua piki piki, uza. Nunuwa litatano ya mafuta. Weka kwa nyumba. Trust God for another bite. Najua, okia omotata. Nao senator, aliambia wili amruto face to face. Akamwambia Ruto mimi na rafiki yako ninakusapoti ninakupenda lakini hii finance bill hii usipo tusikiliza sisi wa Kenya tutapatana koritini Okiwa mtata alimwambia macho kwa macho wakiwa ujaluoni Alimwambia I am not lying to you. Mimi sikufuniki blangeti vila kina usoro wanafanya. Mimi sikufuniki duvet vila kina ndini nyoro wanafanya. Mimi nakuambia ukweli whether you take it or leave it. E finance bill 2023. Bunga itapitisha. Lakini mimi okia omotata. Topatane kotini. Najua ruta alifikiria na mchezo. Okio mutata, 
overturned the decision by Uru Kenyatta to tax Kenyans 1.5% house tax. The man single-handedly brought down Uru Kenyatta. Now, sasa macho yote Kenya yanamulika hasura tawari. Eh, Kenya na mataifa macho yote ni kwa wili ya murutu. Kwa nini? Alichukua bill akaitia sehi ikawa sheria. Bila kusikiliza wa Kenya. Bila kusikiliza wana sheria. Yeye akachukua akaweka tu signature. Senatokio mtata has gone to court to protest the same. And the outcome is the court has suspended the implementation of the finance bill. Lakini kinacho nisangasha, the court has stopped the implementation. Lakini EPRA, a government authority, has already implemented the fuel prices. And that is the Kenya we are living in. People do not respect the rule of law. Conement, majambazi. Thieves. They are stealing from Kenyans in broad daylight. Mafuta ingepagi mahari iriko until hii maneno ya kotini imesha. So as we speak, the court suspended the implementation of the finance bill, 2023. But surprisingly, EPRA imeongeza bayi ya mafuta. Already, Kenyans are paying 196 per liter, 195 in other countries, and so. Now, Kenyans, do you think the Kenya Kwanza government Do you think how our kora? Do you think how our mevalian goes ya kondo? Do you think they are respecting the rule of law? Do you think so? They have been singing. Wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta, they were singing and telling us, "Oh, Uhuru ame capture Stu State. Oh, Uhuru ame capture judiciary. Oh, Uhuru ame capture parliament. Oh, Uhuru ame capture Raila Odinga. Hao wanaokatazwa na bunge. Samahani. Hao wanaokatazwa na koti. Why are you implementing the rule of law? which the courts have rejected a tough question that Kenyans are looking for answers yes koti mekata wakati koti mekata na nyinyi from your own mouth mumesema Kenya kwanza will be governed by the, by the way can we listen to William Ruto can we listen to his voice Kenya is going to be a country run on the basis of the rule of law and the constitution and all citizens have an equal opportunity and no citizen is greater than the other as president i am going to make sure that we avoid and we banish impunity there is nobody who is going to threaten kenya with impunity everybody must respect the law and this country is going to be governed by the rule of law and we will make sure that everybody obeys the constitution and is and works and respects the rule of law i want to tell our friends who are used to impunity who are used to forcing their way that they will have no way because this is going to be a country based on the rule of law and nobody Let me repeat nobody let me say it again nobody is going to threaten Kenyans nobody is going to drive in uh, this country using impunity we are going to be governed by the rule of law tunaelewana jameni 
kila mkenya ako na haki katika taifa letu la Kenya tunaelewana watu wa gorogosho na watu wa hapa ruaraka sisi malengo yetu mpango yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba Kenya inaenda mbele na mimi nataka niwaambie wale majamaa tunaelewana niwaambie nisiwaambie niwaambie nisiwaambie nataka niwaambie wale majamaa nyinyi mlikuwa na miaka tano ya handshake na mambo yenu bei ya unga ikafika shilingi 230 saa hii tumeteremusha imefika 180 watupatie nafasi itakuja 140 watupatie nafasi itakuja 120 waache kimbele mbele walikuwa na nafasi yao wakaharibu mimi nataka niwaambie wale majamaa nawaambia wale majamaa walituacha na madeni kibao karibu nchi yetu iteleze ingie mahali ambapo ya kukwama saa hizi tumeanza kupunguza madeni katika bajeti ya mwaka huu tumepunguza bilioni 500 ya bilioni 300 ya madeni hata wale walikuwa wametufungia katika masoko ya kitaifa katika international financial institutions saa hizi hata interest rate ambayo ilikuwa imefika 17% saa hizi tumeteremusha imefika less than 10% kwa ile soko ya kimataifa ladies and gentlemen Those are not my own words. Hayo sio maneno yangu. Ruto aliyekuwa wakati wa kampeni. Si Ruto aliyoko katika uongozi. There is a big difference. Tofauti kubwa sana. Sijui kama We have yani I, I, I tend to think that the Ruto in Kenya Kwanza government is a foreign Ruto and the root of the campaigns is relaxing in Sugoi kwa sababu vile vitu serikali inafanya mimi najaribu kufikiria kwamba huenda walipoteza manifesto. Huenda. Huenda wameibiwa. Walipiga uru wakati mafuta yalikuwa 153 Kenyan shillings. Ati mnanipangia badala ya kupangia kushusha mafuta. Nikuulize Ruto sasa wewe. Wakati ulikuwa umesema uru amepandisha mafuta yako imefika ngapi from 153 we are now staring at 200 shillings an additional 47 kenyan shillings in a lifespan of less than one year you have increased your fuel by almost 47 shillings niliona mkipiga uru na watu yako Mkisema ati sasa Raila amepandisha bei ya mafuta. Hebu niwaulize nyinyi. Mafuta haya yalipanda jana. Ni Raila alipandisha. Ni Raila. Niwaulize. Ni Raila. Ati Raila ndiye amepandisha bei ya unga. Ukienda kwa supermarket Unga ni about 400 shillings. 2 kg. Ni Raila amepandisha. Wacha niwaambie wa Kenya. Na wacha niwazungumzie. Mahasala wakati uchumi unapanda, nyenye ndio mnaumia. Ah? Mnaumia tu. Mujengo kama ulikuwa unalipwa 400, bado ni 400. Lakini sukari kwa supermarket upenda usipende inapanda. Unga upenda usipende unapanda. Transport upenda usipende ya pikipiki. Mahali ulikuwa unapelekwa na 20 unaenda kupelekwa na 40. Na nyinyi ndio mlijita. Kimewaramba. 
<laughs> Wanaazimio tuuzieni magari tafadhali. Kama magari imekushinda na mafuta, tuko tayari. Reteni, we'll buy. Tafadhali. Let. So waja tuone. Koti imesimamisha. Wacha tuone. Kama huyu huyu mtu wenu huyu atafuata sheria ama atakataa. But najua ni mtu ambaye haheshimu mahakama hata siku moja. Mahakama ilisimamisha kuapishwa kwa CS aliwaapisha na wanawalipa mshahara kinyume na mahakama. Mtu ambaye alisema we will be governed by the rule of law. Mm. Mm. Ndiye huyo sasa, mnamjua sasa. Amevali yangozi ya kondo. Ah! Amevali yangozi ya kondo. Ah! Yo huyo sasa. God bless you ladies and gentlemen. See in the next video. Tesekeni. Sisi tuko sawa.